Welcome to Fix My Broken Hair, where I share tips on how to grow your hair back if you have suffered from alopecia or just hair thinning. My name is Regina and I had alopecia many years ago and I continue to take care of my scalp to keep my hair healthy, keep my scalp healthy. And if you are looking for ways to care for your hair and you need to know how to get rid of or prevent alopecia or thinning, you're in the right place. Subscribe so you won't miss any of my tips and I promise there's something here that will help you. Now today I will share with you 12 best and worst hair growth treatments I've tried at home. I'm going to start at the beginning. Pre-poo is short for pre-shampoo. And it's all about giving the hair some extra love and protection before you actually wash your hair. And one of the best ways to do this that I've tried is using oil. This step is very important because you can break a lot of hair at this stage. I've even seen naturals who have matted their hair. It had to cut off waist length or longer hair because of doing this step incorrectly or skipping the step altogether. Let's get started. As you can see, my hair is in twist and it's been in twist for a few months. Because I'm a few inches from getting back to waist length, last year I tried to shape my hair and cut off four inches of hair. And so now it took me about a year, it's going to take about a year to get it back. But once I get back to waist length, my next goal is thigh length. I just want to see how long my hair will get. It's just something I'm doing for entertainment purposes. But having my hair in twist, I'm not pre pooing I'm using half a cup of aloe vera juice, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with mother in it, and a half a cup of distilled water to clean my scalp. And so far, it's working. It's working well. And I'll talk more about how to shampoo your hair in the next step. But when I stop wearing my hair in twist, I will be pre pooing with oil. So this pre poo routine, most long hair naturals like to use oil during the pre poo stage, and they detangle their hair at the same time. This is a definite yes. You should get the shed hairs out at this step because this is a hair that will get tangled up in your other hair and create a tangled mess when you wet it. I recommend finger detangling. If you don't know how to do it on natural hair, watch my video. Watch my video up here on how to detangle your natural hair. Now, there are lots of oils out there. You got coconut oil, you got uh, avocado oil, you got castor oil, which I absolutely love, and there's benefits for all of them. So you, you have to try the oils to see which one you want to pre-poo with. So how do you pre-poo with oil? It's real easy. You just start by sectioning your hair into manageable parts. And then you take a small amount of your oil that you chose to use and gently massage it into your scalp and hair. And then you focus on your ends where your hair might need some extra attention. Now this massage not only helps the oil penetrate your hair, but it also stimulates blood flow to the scalp, promoting healthy hair growth. Plus, y'all know it feels good. But once your hair is all oiled, you can leave the oil in for 30 minutes or overnight. It just depends on how much your hair needs this treatment and how thirsty your hair really is. Now, some people like to cover their hair, which I recommend covering your hair, especially if you're going to leave it overnight with a plastic cap. Some people use plastic wrap, but to lock that moisture and heat in. And this gives that oil an extra boost. This also helps the oil to penetrate the hair strands, which is our goal. It's like a really good hot oil treatment. 
which is very important for strengthening your hair. There was a time in my natural hair journey when I was watching some YouTuber that said, oh, we shouldn't use oil on our hair. That's a big no. We should use oil on our hair. <laughs> your hair will grow without oil, but it will be dry and brittle and weak. And when you comb it, it will break. So when it's time to wash your hair, you simply get in the shower with whatever you're shampooing with and shampoo as usual. And you'll be amazed how soft and shiny and manageable your hair is going to feel after you do this. Pre-pooling with oil is simple, but it's a very effective way to give your hair just a little TLC that it truly deserves. So on your next wash day, give it a try and let me know in the comments if you can tell the difference in your hair. Next, we'll talk about how water is ruining our hair. And I'll see you in the next video.